go meet uh rap's people see what the deal is try and get a lead on a lent hold it rap who are these people huh didn't nikki tell you that i've got a couple of guests we heard that you have guests but we sure didn't hear about them being short-eared guests oh there's a little bit of racism going around around here but let's give them the benefit of the doubt you never f forget it's against village law to allow outsiders in would you after all you're the elder's grandson you've known that for ages stop moaning these guys are my guests that's all you need to know <laughs> okay so he's the he's the grandson of the elder so I guess he's got a bit of leeway, but he's literally just like, I don't care. And rightly so, we've helped save his little buddy Nicky, and we've fought several battles with him now, so he's probably earned some kind of warrior's respect for us, I hope. Okay, calm down, Rap. I understand. Okay, I'll trust you. We will consider your guests as our guests. I don't suppose we have a choice since you're so adamant about it. That's right. So, would you mind going to hear what my grandpa has to say? Oh, I think we don't mind. Sure, we'll do that. That's the inn. Got a shop. Weapon store. This is what you want. Right, let's sell the old junk first. Okay, so that's Kafu Shuriken. That's, uh, yeah, made of Kafu iron. That's Rap's ranged weapon, so hang on to that. Uh, we'll sell the ninja sandals. I'm happy with him having the air sneakers, to be honest. Right, so let's sell all this junk gear we don't need. Right, rain staff we need to hang on to. I'll hang on to the um, gust knife. Ah, I've got the bow book. I suppose I could give that to Rap. Uh, everything. Oh, pirate's helm. Sell that. Cookies. Can we pick up those? Oh, I suppose maybe Rap was carrying those. 80 hit points to one friend. Yummy. <laughs> okay, cool. Alright, sell that shield. And honey. So 100 hit points to one friend. Fresh. Fresh honey. That's cool. Alright, so let's have a look what they got. Right, Confused Charm, don't need. Irid Amulet, oh, that's pretty cool. Plus 10 defense, rainbow colored, pretty. Right, so the weird ass black belt that he's already got, don't really understand it. Okay, so you buy more cookies and honey. Uh, the whistle to wake people up, resurrect potion, antidote. Right, Howl Scroll, Tremor Scroll, Gale Scroll, Zap Book. Okay. I don't think there's anything there we really need, to be honest. Alright, so we don't have any mana eggs. What sort of weapons they got? Right, okay. Okay, so there's a new sword there. It's got minus 15 move on it. It says sudden death. What does that mean, Grandia? My god, this game, it just... I don't know. I'll forgive it, I guess. But anyway, let's... Okay, so we can get rid of the shuriken if we buy a boomerang to replace it. Not just using it at the minute, but let's keep up to date. We've got a lot of money now. Okay, so we've got two different whips. So we've got a 33 attack, which has poison on it. Or a 43 attack that has water on it. So I guess we'll go for that one. Really. You know, we've had a few issues where, previously where... At the uh, Mysterious Vanishing Hill, where Fina couldn't really attack. 
because of the you know, the fire element on her whip. So if we get into a similar situation because she's got water on her whip, it doesn't matter. I'll just get her to do something else. Right, so that sword. I do not like that sword. We've got a tree root, which is a new uh, new mace. So we'll buy that. Now, SHK, is that a shark knife? Not sure. Either way, we'll buy that for Fina, just to, uh... In fact, we should probably give it to Rap, because I don't know that we're ever necessarily going to be using knife on Fina ever again, really. Unless we... Uh, she learn some new abilities or something, I don't know. Okay, so let's sell the stuff we don't need. Which would be the rain staff, the Kafu Shuriken, and the gust knife. That's 24 up to 33. Okay. There we go. Let's look at the armor. Okay, so we've got two body armors. 19 defense or 18 defense and may warp when damaged. Now, the fact it says it may could mean anything. And warp. There's no, there's no assuming that that's in its best interest, is there? Really? I don't think. Right, nin the ninja sander. Now, what are the wing boots doing? Seven defense to 35 move. It's a lot of extra defense. But still, I would be losing out on 13 points a move. So I guess the air sneak is a kind of overkill move. But it's not that I'm lacking defense, really, am I? I don't feel. Interesting. Right, so then we've got the swallow hat. Happy with their shoes. Don't worry about that. Okay, we've got an 18k shield. Very nice. <sighs> Can I afford it? I'm not sure. Okay, so let's buy it from the chainmail. Because that's clearly better than what they're currently using. Dragon vest and skull armor. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to uh, get a full batch of those shields, am I? I could get one. I could get two. It's extra defense. Um, let's do it. Let's get it for Fina. And we'll get it for Justin. Rap, you'll have to go without for the time being, my friend. As soon as we get a bit more gold, we'll get you on, though. Right, I'll stash everything and go save. Or we go see the Elder. It's very considerate of Grandia, how they design the villagers in the, the inn... And the shop are basically always next to each other, and they are very easy to find. Right, so let's stash all of these. Ah, bow book. We want to give that to Rap, don't we? If we'll let us. Right, we'll stash his cookies and his honey. We're not going to need those. Now, we might want to look at getting him a different. Not a stash. Different accessory. As his black belt is a little bit ambiguous, to say the least. Now I wonder if it's time to uh, start having a big clear out. Honestly.
but that 15 hit points that's not even worth using in combat now if you do need to use an item you want to use something that is actually worthwhile i think Look, look, I've still got the, the bloody banana and the sweets from the beginning of the game. I'm not going to worry about it now. I'll worry about it shortly. And in fact, if I sell some of this stuff, I could get wrapped that shield. I would give him the chain of gems, but I think I'm going to be focusing on his uh, fire for the time being. We'll just leave him with his black belt for now. I would not need to stress about it. Oh! You said they could stay at the inn? Are you crazy, Rap? You know we can't let outsiders stay here. Huh? Look, if I clear it with my grandpa, you can't complain, right? Let's hurry over to my grandpa's. Okay, well, thankfully I wasn't trying to stay in the inn. Just trying to save the game, so... Right, okay, so we need to see the Cafu Elder. I'm going to sort out the inventory first. So, bear with me, guys. Uh, I could cut out the video, obviously, but in case anyone's interested in it, I don't know. But um, <clears throat> just in case. Uh, so, if it doesn't interest you, feel free to like skip ahead like by two or three minutes. So, I probably should pull the things out of the stash. So basically what I just want to try and do is tidy up the stash. It's got too much stuff in it that I am never going to use. Now, I will... I'm not going to be crazy. I'm going to like be fairly conservative about it. But let's try and cut some of the stuff I know we don't need. Right, so, I mean, like... But here we go, like... The, the current standard of healing items, for example, cookies and honey, 80 to 100 hit points. That they're good healing items, right? I suppose 40 is not too bad, is it? But I mean, like a special medicine like that, ultra drink, 20 SP to the entire party. That's pretty good. We'll hang on to that. 10 SP to one friend. That's probably not worth the time it takes to, u to use that. You know what I mean? Um, minus one defense for all enemies. It's, I'm, I'm just... I'm never going to use that. If I have no other options... In terms of, like, your magic points and your SP, you've always got combo and crit. Now, surely a combo is going to be more useful than just using that. Right? I would have thought so. Right. White Sulphur, you can go too. Okay, I will just hang on to the wound cells. It's 40. 40 is about what heal does in combat. So... We'll leave that for now. It's like that. Bamo fruit. Restores four magic points. Okay, it's so level two magic points, but four. So, okay, so you're completely out of uh, magic points. Spend a turn to eat a fruit, and then you can do a burn flame. Or you can just do two combos instead. You see what I'm saying? There you go, look, Trollof Flowers restores three 
magic points of level one. So you can do a crackle and a burn with that. Bear in mind, Justin and Fina's level one magic points. Like Justin's up to in his 80s by now, I think. So I hope you kind of see what I'm trying to get at. So we're just going to sell all of this junk. All right, squid gut. Okay, 20 SP to one friend. That's a bit better, so I'll hang on to that. Plus three action. Not too fast. Plus three attack. I mean, look, you could technically just take all these items with you. Or at least some of them. <coughs> Excuse me. Into, like, the last boss fight or something like that. Is is it going to be necessary? I, it's not, is it? It's really, really not. Now, antidotes. Again, do I need antidotes? Fina and Justin can cure poison. With, this, with magic, so... No, I want to get rid of the antidotes as well. Okay, it's going to take a minute. Let's go back and forth, but that's what we're doing. Got some cool music to accompany us, so, so that's something. Now, as there's a place to purchase magic in the shop, I assume we are going to find more mana eggs and we can... You know, give them to wrap. Hopefully. Right, seven gold for these herbs. That says it all, really, doesn't it? Alright, troll of flowers. Okay, got 200 for those. That's cool. Antidotes, 50 gold. It's not really worth it, is it? <laughs> For the sake of tidying up. Now, first things first. This bow book. Let's give it to Rap. Oh, wow. Plus six levels, putting his bow up to 29. God damn, he's not... <laughs> Gonna need to level that for a good long while, is he? And 12 points of strength. That's all that hard work Sue did with her bow. Has helped him out there. Be thankful, Rap. <laughs> no, nope, not stash. Get. Alright, what else? Yeah, antidotes. I guess I'll hang on to the ginseng as I'm hanging on to the wound salve. Right, the, this banana. Sue's been carrying that around since the beginning of the game. <laughs> Bless her. So we'll sell the banana and sweets as well. Right, first aid kit. That's you see, that's pretty good. Sixty to the whole party. Two hundred to one friend. Twenty magic points of each level. That's the blue medicine. That's good. And thirty SP to one friend. That's good. Right, one fifty to the party. Twenty to the party. Thirty SP to party. Okay, they're all good. Okay, magic lamp. Two magic points to someone. That's not very good. Okay, more antidotes. Oh, well, they were stacked up differently. Uh, plague. Okay, vaccines for the plague. Okay, we'll hang on to those because um, we don't have a spell that removes plague at the moment. Uh, however, paralysis and confusion. I believe they run out at the end of the fight, so let's get rid of these. 
unblocks magic and moves. I don't think I've seen any enemy attacks that are blocking magical moves so far. I really don't. And if it did, surely it wouldn't last outside of combat. That's what I'm going to assume. Right, Resurrect Potion, that probably makes sense. Panacea, we'll hang on to that as it restores any status. Trusts, um, let's just sell these trusts. I'm, I'm fed up with just thinking about them. Now, I can't think of a situation where I'm ever going to need to use attack items regardless of the damage just on the basis that again even if you're completely out of sp completely out of magic points you can just do a combo surely a combo with any of these three characters is going to do more, more damage than a dynamite or in fact the fireworks there surely so let's get rid of all those Okay, let me just have a look at the other things. Like, there you go. 100-point wind attack on all enemies. It's kind of good, I guess. So what? Okay. Uh, blocking silence orb. Well, that's the thing. Fina's now got a silence spell. So... Weak weed can go... Okay, like, that's, for example, Miracle Drink. It's five magic points of all levels to the party so that's a little bit more worthwhile i think um micaroma scroll that's pretty good 50 to the whole party torch whistle awaken party from sleep well if you get put to sleep you just wait you you wake up again when you take some damage so now Guess those keys I can't sell. Right, health weed, 25. Okay. I've got 25 health weeds. I'm never going to need that many. So really what I should do is sell the wound cells and the ginseng. Anything that's less than 80. Because if I, <coughs> if I do need healing items, then I'll just pull out the health weed, yeah? Basically. Okay, so Gadwin's uh, gear in here as well. We'll look at all the accessories afterwards. Tenth of the sweets. <laughs> oh, magic lamp though. That's three thousand seven hundred and fifty. Who who would have thunk, thunk it? I don't know. Okay. Right, yeah, and all these scrolls—they're only worth a hundred. Trusts are worth one. <laughs> See, even the shopkeeps know how good trusts are, and not. Worthless. Right, 100 for the grenades. A scroll. So, um... <clears throat> I think I can get the uh, decent shield for Rap now. Yeah, the last shield. Excellent. That's one thing I will say about Rap. He may be suffering in other regards, but his defence is the best in the party. I don't know how he pulled that off, but good on you, Rap. Now, I mean, we don't know too much about Rap at the moment, but he, he seems like a good guy. Oh, his combat abilities are not great, but I'm sure we can develop those.
tier jewel. We stole three SP to it. Right, let's just sell that. Don't know what it is or how it works. No one cares. I assume I'm not going to be able to sell these keys. Alright, Dragon Killer Sword. We'll sell that. And there's the Magic Shield. We'll sell that. Still got the four treasures. I wonder if at the end of the game we go back to Palm and uh, find Gantz and be like, Here you go, Gantz, here's your treasures. Probably not, but that would be funny. Alright, Dragon Vest. Marching Mac Mac One boots. I thought they were marching boots, but anyway. Uh, right. Let's go through these items. I'm never going to need resistance, really. It's never going to be an issue. However, let's keep a token, one of each. Though, right here, Justin's hero badge, plus two action. That's not very good. We're never going to use that again. Let's sell it. Now, plus five attack. That's not bad. We'll hang on to that. Uh, oh, right. We've got Sue's Mama's Amulet. Obviously, it wasn't too much of an emotional support. Well, she, you would have thought she would take it with her. When it, it seems kind of wrong, but I think we're going to sell it. Never mind. <laughs> The same with uh, Justin's badge, really, but... Hey-ho. Doesn't really matter, I guess. <laughs> okay. I think it's really worth hanging on to the dragon killer just for the sake of pos potentially fighting dragons. There we go. We're getting there. Maybe just one more run. Just have to look at the accessories now. Some of these are very basic, but we'll, uh, you know. I mean, that's cool. Medal of Yore. Stores, you get extra SP from attacking. Now, I'll keep the elemental resistance charms, and maybe something like plague resistance, but confusion, paralysis, magic block, Sudden Death. Have we even seen an ability in the game that uses Sudden Death? I don't think so. Okay, so then you've got a Plague Resist that gives you plus four and one that gives you plus three. I sell the plus three. Now, the Chain of Gems is excellent. Dragon Scale is interesting. Snake Earrings, we'll get rid of those. I mean, the Chain of Gems is arguably the best ac accessory if someone is focusing specifically on melee attacks, as no one really is at the moment. I mean, maybe when I've Justin's learnt all of his magic, I'll pull, put that on him then. For now, though, that'll do, I think. To lighten the load. Not that there's a limit to the stash, but... You know, if you're playing an RPG, you want to keep things nice and tidy, don't you?
There we go. All right, so I'm fully kitted with the best weapons and armor. We've had a tidy up and we've got 25,000 uh, gold to spare. Right, okay, cool. Let's get into the village. Let's find the elder. Okay, so it's kind of like a... Kind of a treetop-like village. Kind of. Kind of living in plants. Ish. Not sure exactly. Okay, it's just random houses. It's pretty cool, though. Oh, the elder's house. Okay, cool. Okay. All right, okay. I can head down to the first floor. Interesting. You have like a little rope vine between floors. Cool. Well, certainly keep your arms strong and toned. That's for sure. Climbing that every day. I've been waiting for you, Rap. And who do we have here? Oh, here's Justin and Fina. They've been a big help for Nikki. Now I can see how folks might mistake you for those people in the tower. You look a lot like them. Those abominable people in the Tower of Doom. What's the Tower of Doom? And who are these people? The people of Kafu have not always lived in this area. The forest where we used to live has been turned to stone and destroyed. It happened right after those evil people finished building the Tower of Doom near that forest. Okay, so the people of Kafu had to move somewhat recently because evil people turned up, built the Tower of Doom, which caused the forest to turn to stone. You know what it smells like to me? It smells like adventure. And the opportunity to help wraps people out. Might help, might go some way to try to recruit him, might it? That's terrible. Yes! Rap, are you going there today to Old Cafu and the Petrified Forest? Yeah, of course. You know, I go there every day, so. They don't get too lonely. So who doesn't get too lonely? I don't know. Weird. Rap, could you take us there too? To the petrified forest? Huh? What do you plan to do over there? That forest is dangerous, you know. I've just got to see it with my own eyes. Please, Rap. Okay, have it your way. You adventurer types sure are weird. All right, so let's go. The petrified forest is north of here. Everyone, follow me. Wait, Rap. I know you've been told this before, but Kafu is a gated community. We've made a special exception for you as Rap's guests. So please do not cause any trouble. Don't worry, we elder. We won't. We've heard, we have heard this before from the people of Luck Village, being very suspicious, not really wanting us around. Well, I guess these guys are not as suspicious as the people in Luck. But we're going to save the day, and we're going to help them, and we're going to be their heroes. And then Rap will join us permanently, and you know that's just the start of the adventure. Um, right. I'm just gonna. Oh, hello. Oh, that's just to go to a house. Okay, so this house is seemingly, like I say, it's completely floating. It's hanging from the end of this giant plant. And they've managed to attach <laughs> a house to a building to it. Interesting. Very interesting. I just wanted to see what it was without going into it. <clears throat> I 
Now, again, I'm not going to go and talk to all the NPCs. There's quite a lot of them. They might have some interesting things to say, and you guys could make, you know, anyone could make an argument in a let's play trying to do a full, you know, commentary, narration, etc. That I should be talking to every single NPC. I mean, let's like, talk to all this chicken as well. Do you know what I mean? No, exactly. Uh, I mean, in games where you RPGs where you kind of have to talk to people to find out what you're doing and what's going on, then that, that that's fine. I will do that. But in a game like this, where you can easily progress the story without talking to everyone, it does seem a little bit redundant. So. I'm not going to worry about it. Anyway, onto the petrified forest. 